it's we're on what's known as St Patrick's Purgatory, and maybe you would tell us how it how this name came. Okay. Came so to be. Um, <coughs> the the original monastery at Loch Derg, it was not on this island, but on Saint's Island, which is a much bigger island, big enough for the monks to to have their vegetable patches and keep a, some few livestock probably or that. And this island <coughs> was originally uh, much smaller, it's about three times the size now because nearly all of the buildings are on sites reclaimed from the lake. The original island was about the size of a football pitch, a rocky uh, island. And the monks uh, who lived in, on Saints Island used to come across for their more intense times of prayer to this island. There are lots of the, the, this happened a, a, a lot in those Celtic monasteries that the monastery might have a G-shirt, a place apart, a desert, okay, for that more intense time of prayer. And here on this island, the uh, monks uh, roofed over a fissure between the, 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 the rocks, the bedrock of the island. And, um, and in the 12th century, uh, that the fame of this cave or pit it was described differently now it was never a cave in the rocks that kind of a cavern mm. okay but um <clears throat> and and the monks would have would have come for 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 a, uh, to spend 24 hours in this almost an experience of being buried alive in anticipation of of the the shortness of life and so on and in the 12th century uh, it its fame spread across europe under the title saint patrick's purgatory and um, the idea was that, that people came here to, to do penance for their, their sins and their, their faults and uh, to beseech God for his mercy. And uh, the, the, the legend, uh, the story that was told was that Patrick, uh, in answer to his prayer, was shown by God this place, this pit or whatever, uh, and promised that uh, uh, that anyone who would spend a day and a night there uh, with uh, kind of sorrow for their sins and so on would be purged, would be purified of their, of their sins. Now it's very interesting, or I've always found it very interesting, that that story emerges in the 12th century. Mm. Now if the, the, the idea that, that between the 5th century, was which was the time of St. Patrick, years. okay, mm. so and we have actually from St. Patrick, two, two documents from Patrick's hand, the, the confession and the letter to the soldiers of Caracas. And Patrick does refer in those two spiritual experiences that he has, but there's no mention of, of having this visitation from God to show him this cave. So, the, but I mean, it's what emerged as the foundation story for it. And uh, the original uh, account of it was written by uh, an English, written down by an English monk who had it from a, a repentant knight who had who had been here to do his penance, and uh, it's usually referred to as the Tractatus. And still today, in uh, libraries and uh, museums across Europe, there are I think it is about 150 copies, manuscript copies of this story. So it it spread right across uh, Europe. Uh, through the monastic. Was this the knight? It was King Stephen. In the time of King Stephen, the, the knight was King the knight Stephen. is known as the knight Owen, and uh, he um, is supposed to have joined King Stephen of uh, England mm. on a, on a, a crusade to to the Holy Land after his experience of being in the purgatory. Okay, and twelfth century. Before we go out, finish with purgatory, uh, the monks' beds. I just want to ask you about them. When you say the monks on Saints Island. Hmm. These these cells that yes. were over the cells that were there for monks um, that are now penitentiary beds. Yes. Would those m have been the monks who built them, or would it have been earlier monks that built these okay, cells? Okay. Well, well you know? the, the 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 form of these of the what we have now is the footprints of yeah. those beehive shaped uh, cells. Um, I, I, no, the, the, the ones here, the, this island, everything on this island was totally levelled in 1632. Mm. So these are were reconstructed then, but uh, the, the form of them uh, uh, and, and from places where, where archaeologically uh, these structures have survived or something, they, they date them, generally speaking, to about the 9th century.
It seemed that that the that the uh, the cells here were accommodation for monks who came across from the main uh, monastery to to have their time, and then uh, the at the heart of it was the the the. the the purgatory cave that became known as St. Patrick's Purgatory. And then the cave, or the cave as we call it, yes. the, the, the purgatory. purgatory, that was closed up? That was closed uh, eventually in uh, 1780. Uh, by that time the, the Franciscans who had been looking after uh, the pilgrims who came here for about 150 years, uh, they, they had their numbers were so depleted that uh, the pilgrimage was entrusted to the to the diocese of Clogher, and uh, so the first prior from the diocesan uh, clergy, with the numbers of people that were coming at that time, the the the, the cave just couldn't accommodate them to spend their vigil. So he built a a, a, a chapel in honour of Saint Patrick, which people then used for the vigil, and that's that was on part of the site that, that's now occupied by the by the Basilica. The Basilica in the 1920s replaced that the chapel which was called chapel. the Prison Chapel because people were closed in there for, the, for the, the vigil and the Prison Chapel before that had replaced the, the, the original cave, the Purgatory Cave. And then, so this, this is where the entrance into yes. Purgatory yes. was here? Yes, this at side. The front? This side, yes, yes. And then the, the, when the, the bell tower? Well, the bell tower, the, the, the prior at that time built the bell tower to mark the site of the, of the purgatory. So it's simply to mark it? Yeah, yeah. But there's nothing remaining? It's all filled in completely? Well, there was nothing to fill in because it, 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 it was didn't go hole. deep. It, it, was, it was the bedrock of the island. And the, the, what you see there are around it, that, that, th those are not built walls. That, that's, that's actually also bedrock. Okay. That's actually the stone of the island has become a bit uh, overgrown and that, but, but that, that's, and like Bishop Spottiswood when he was levelling <laughs> everything in, <laughs> 16, he was busy in 1632, mm. like the first place that he wanted to put an end to was, was the purgatory because to, to the, reform, the reformers the, 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 the purgatory was, was, was the heart of the superstition and Idolatry and also it was the main attraction for people absolutely. coming here so absolutely. he was trying to stem absolutely to stem okay so that the, was the, the first thing pilgrims. he wanted and, and one of the points that he makes was that he got his men to uh, with their with whatever they had their crowbars or whatever but but he says that he, he makes the point that there's no underground entrance to anywhere you know that that they hit the bedrock kind of straight away and and uh, so what he did was take the the Maybe roof he of lied. it a Protestant bishop lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't mind wrecking the island, so you never know. I mean. You never know.